are you being so kind to me? It must have been trouble for you, watching over me for ten days. There once was a time when our group enjoyed the kind protection of that place, inside the dome. The whole city is all just one big fat rotten lie. Until you know that a lie is a lie, then it's the truth. Learning how to discern the truth from the lie may be the right thing to do, but knowing the truth won't always make you happy. Lies make us happy. Lies make us happy? That's absolutely right. You're a clever child, Pino. Let's have a good look. It's amazing. Auto raves really do seem to be becoming more and more like us. I bet everyone has these types over there nowadays, right? Over there? What are you talking about? I'm talking about Romdo. Romdo. Saying it makes me feel nostalgic. Wait a minute! We're not in the immigrant district? How is it that I'm still alive? It took you long enough. Isn't it obvious? You managed to escape outside the dome with Pino. Outside the dome? Vince! Outside... Rondo. Vince, no! You may have heard this from Hootie, but I pass for being a bit of an oddball. But if you ask me, the bigger oddballs are far and away Hootie and his group. Always ranting about how free they are. <laughs> this man is well known as a revolutionary throughout Romdo. A famed warrior of the Resistance, Vincent is responsible for directing many actions against the Dome's established ruling party. Hey, Hoodie, come on, just hold on a second, all right? We witnessed his magnificent gunplay. They can send as many patrol flights as they like against our commune. He'll dispatch them as if it were child's play. The fall of Romdo is almost at hand. Citizens turned refugee are joining the commune en masse. These attacks against us are the last desperate acts of the city government. They struggle to keep the citizenry from abandoning them. <sighs> but their violence only urges revolutionaries such as Vincent to retaliate. Quite foolish, really. Thanks a lot, Hoodie. Revolutionary? <laughs> I could care less about revolution or the future of Romdo. I want no part of this. What are you saying? Our freedom hangs on the success of this revolution! What the hell is the point of freedom if you have to die to get it? I give you my word that no more lives will be lost! How can you make that promise? Uh, well, because... Uh, because an inside source has been giving me notice as to when the patrol fighters are going to attack! That's how! <clears throat> Fine. I was hoping to keep it a secret to avoid a panic, but I suppose I must tell you all that I've been in negotiations for our autonomy with Romdo for some time now. Our enemy is anxious to settle this. They practically came here crawling on their hands and knees asking for our return. I'll be damned. It's a dream come true. <laughs> I can't hear a thing. I wonder what they're saying. And I can't see the negotiator's face either. I wonder if Hoodie can handle this. <coughs> you don't look at all like the negotiator from last time. But why don't you at least start by giving me your name? This is going nowhere. Could you at least tell me what you're here for? 
Are you too scared to continue negotiating? So you plan to attack us? In that case, you'll be dealing with him. Uh, uh, hello? Vincent, it's me. Riel, what are you? I've come to retrieve you. What? What's going on? You're coming back with me to Romdo. You don't understand. It's not all that easy. What's going on? Once someone's left Romdo, they're not supposed to be able to return. Why? Why just him? <laughs> Shut up! Go away! <laughs> okay! Vincent, let's go. No! You can't have him! Do you want to die? Very well, you leave me no choice. If this is the way it has to be, then I'll tell you where the proxy is. Now, of course, in return, I'll be expecting a little quid pro quo. Right. Riel, it's me again. Can you hear me? Yes. What? First, you recognize our right to autonomy. The situation has changed. Return immediately. That's exactly what I was planning to do. You seem strangely willing. You establish friendly have you retrieved Vincent Law? Immediately. Yes, I have. And we demand the right to return to Romdo! <laughs> You're too loud! Go somewhere else! <laughs> but that's where we've seen patrols. They won't fly patrols in the middle of talks! I understand. We have to get out of here, Vincent. <sighs> We're running out of time. The Security Bureau is preparing to sterilize the commune. You'll be killed, too, if you stay here. <sighs> Sterilize us? What are you saying? We were just about to establish friendly relations. We're leaving now, Vincent. Uh, uh... Are soldiers really on their way? What are they going to do to us? What about me? What should I do? Let go! <clears throat> You're just going to abandon us, aren't you? You're going to escape even after I saved you. Forgive my ignorance, but... Aren't we obligated to punish those who try and abandon Romdo? Strictly speaking. People holding such broad views of the law tend to be far away from its consequence. You are chief of the Citizen Security Bureau. Know your place. Yes. Blood pressure and heart rate are both increasing. Breathing is irregular. How ridiculous. What's the point of your observations when I obviously have control of my emotions? Pride goeth before a fall. I can't approve the return of someone who left the dome without permission. Furthermore, anyone who abandons the dome the way that young man has deserves the harshest punishment allowed. That's certainly reasonable. Yes, he must have his consequences. Wouldn't you agree, Kristeva? some first aid queer please don't even think about being that stupid look they can't follow they're just flying in circles i can't believe we're afraid of those i mean it's funny right it's less than you deserve you bastards <laughs> Hey, Quinn. 